Yellow Jacket softball getting ready to start conference play this week. Amanda, it's been a little bit of a layoff, a, a couple weeks since your last games, but you've had a few weeks to practice. What have you guys been working on and, and staying sharp with uh, in practice the last few weeks? Well, when we were inside last week, we were really just focusing on fine-tuning our swings, getting a lot of swings, just off front toss off the coaches. And now that the snow's gone, we've been going outside, getting a lot of live defensive reps. It's been really nice. Talk about uh, getting into the lineup this year and in a much accelerated role from last year. You're, you've been the starting left fielder, um, a comfortable veteran group out there in the outfield. Talk about that. Yeah, it's really nice. I mean, me, Bella, and Heather, we're best friends off the field. We work really well on the field. We know each other's strengths and weaknesses. I think it's allowing us to cover a lot of ground and make a lot of good plays. Talk about the momentum the team has. I know it's been several weeks since you played, but uh, in your last games, you guys started performing a lot better uh, than how you started the year. You split your last six games. Uh, how will that help you this week? I mean, we were just adjusting to being outside. We're playing a lot of good competition, but I do think we improved as the road trip went on. I think we're going to use that and take that into conference, and especially now getting to go outside. It's, it's really like firing us up and making us excited to play. Talk about your lineup a little bit and how the, how you fit into it now. You've got a lot of speed at the top and bottom and then power in the middle. So you mm -hmm. get to uh, be in the eighth or ninth spot, and then you have Bella and Heather right after you, three very fast players, and then a lot of power in the middle. Talk about that dynamic. I mean, we just try and get our job done, get on base. I mean, I get a lot of <laughs> get made fun of for not hitting home runs, but that's not my job, and I really just try and put the ball in play, get on base, and let the meat of our lineup do their job and bring me in. Now this is your third year with the team, so you've been through a GNAC schedule a couple times. That all starts this week, and really over the next eight days you have a dozen conference games. Um, what do you know about the league that's going to help you, and how will you apply that to the team? I mean, the GNAC, it's a good conference. You're not going to just walk all over anyone. I think we really just need to focus on staying consistent through this long road trip and really digging deep and getting some good wins. Well, it's been a little bit tough because we haven't been able to get outside a whole lot, but recently we've been able to. So um, we've tried to focus on putting them in live situations. So whether that's live offensively or defensively, when we do get outside, we try to take full advantage of you know, t getting um, team defenses in live situations because I think that's what we're kind of struggling with right now because we haven't had a lot of opportunities for that. So um, practices have been trying to put them in pressure situations, deal with game-like stuff. Now, the team had a lot of momentum when it finished that long road trip. I think you guys played 13 games in the course of 11 days. You finished going 3-3 three and three in your last six uh, games. Talk about the good things you were seeing and how the team is getting progressively better. Um, definitely, as the week went on, we were at Dixie and uh, the Vegas tournament. We got better as we kind of started to gel together. We started to learn each other a little bit better. Um, a lot of really good things starting to happen on defense, and we were being able to handle those pressure situations of ball games where it was two to one, three to two, stuff like that. Um, and so it's just a matter of trying to keep that momentum going. Um, when you have three weeks off, it can be a little bit tough, but the break I think has been good for them. It's re-energized them, and I think they're ready to go for conference this weekend. Talk about the power that this lineup provides. There were all kinds of home runs, a couple of walk-off home runs, multi-homer games for different players. Uh, you got to like your lineup, especially heading into conference play. Yeah, our, our lineup offensively is, I mean, it's very um, threatening. Um, we have a lot of power. We have slappers. We have speed. I mean, we do a good job at the top of the lineup of getting on base. Um, and then, you know, those big hitters coming up in clutch situations. I mean, Cameron, came up huge for us um, out in Dixie and same with Megan, you know, Kelsey having some home runs in the Vegas tournament. <clears throat> um, we have, you know, just a lot of talent um, offensively. And so that part's really exciting. I'm not worried about us scoring runs. Um, you know, it's about us getting our defense and pulling it together. And they understand that and they're working on that. So talk about the trip coming up. You start with Western Washington four games, but it's part of a 12 game stretch over the course of eight days uh, on the road in the GNAC. Talk about how you're preparing for this trip and being excited to play some games again. Um, definitely very excited to play some games again. Um, we're just kind of preparing, you know, we're just kind of trying to play MSUB softball. Um, when you go in and you have to play three different teams in one week, it's hard to just plan for that one team. Um, and so we kind of are just working on all the basic stuff, um, trying to to prepare them for any type of situation that's going to happen and you know it is it is going to be a long road trip but it's it's exciting to get out and play again and get into conference and I feel like we're we're really ready for um, conference games and to get started with that.